everybody, my name is Steven and welcome to another PFL Quick Tip. Today we are going to be learning how to stylize, well, correctly write uh, your padding and margin and that's pretty much all that I use this for. But I have been working on a template that someone else programmed and they always have like margin top and then you know whatever 15 pixels then they have margin left and 20 pixels and now this works perfectly fine but to me it looks really sloppy and I hate to have you know four long words for top right bottom and left when you can just write it much neater and cleaner and to do this let's first just take a look at what I have right now this is what this page looks like and obviously there's no padding and there's no margin so if we were to give uh, these boxes a little bit of padding we would do padding and then we would do 15 pixels and that would be 15 pixels all around on all four sides or if we want different width for the top and the bottom so let's first do this 15 pixels alright let me save this refresh and you can see it has 15 pixels all around it now let's say you want the top and the bottom to have uh, 25 pixels. How would you do that? Well, you can do it like this. 25 pixels, oops, take out the semicolon, 25 pixels, 15 pixels. What this means is top and bottom will be 25 pixels. Left and right is 15 pixels. So let's save that, refresh, and you can see only the top and the bottom have changed their width. And that's same, that works the same for if you wanted to do, uh, uh, well, let's do this. Uh, for margin, you might be familiar with zero auto. And what that does is centers it in the page. What this means is the top and bottom has zero margin, but the left and right are auto. You know, auto, I don't know, dimensionized, delized. That's a new word for you. All right, so let's say you wanted all four sides that have different... Um, different dimensions. So the way this works is it goes clockwise. It goes top, right, bottom, left. So if you want padding for the top to be um, 10 pixels, then the right side would be 15 pixels, bottom would be 40 pixels, and then the left would be, I don't know, 25 pixels. Save this, refresh it, and you can see 10, 15, 40, 25, or whatever we had. And that same thing, as I said, is for the margin. So if you want the margin to be um, 25 from the top, 15 from the right, 0 on the bottom, and then on the left could be uh, 67 pixels. Doesn't matter. And again, uh, actually not again, I didn't say this, but if you have 0, you don't need to put 0 pixels you can just have zero it knows that it's pixels and it doesn't matter if it's pixels or not because it's zero so let's refresh that and as you can see it works just fine so when you are doing your programming your styles remember this put it all in one one row rather than four different spots it's so much easier to look at and identify what size every side has and all that so clean up your style sheets Thank you very much. Have a Merry Christmas.